sings the sweetest things. But the elephant isn't quite as eloquent because the sound gets tangled round in his trunkety trunk. But every elephant, I suppose, learns to cope with his nose in his element as he goes trump, trump, trumpety trump. Skips and never trips, but the elephant isn't quite as elegant because his feet are not so neat. Clump, clump, clumpity clump. But every elephant, as he grows, tries to keep on his toes in his element as he goes. Bum, bum, bumpity bum. Bum. Bum, the elephant. Bump and the talking tree. Sometimes, when Bump was by himself and nobody else was looking, he would do a little dance. Stand on his head or just do silly things, which was how he tripped over his own big feet and banged the tree. Ouch, said Bump. But before he could count his bruises, a voice spoke. Twit, it said sharply. Sorry, said Bump looking all around to see who it was. But there was only the tree. Was that you talking to me? Bump asked. Who? came the reply. Why, you, of course, said Bump. Who? said the voice again. I'm Bump the elephant, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You're the first tree I've ever spoken to, said Bump. Twit! screeched the tree. Well, that's not very polite, said Bump, quite upset. Which is why he went to look for another, more friendly tree. Hello, said Bump. You look a much nicer tree. <coughs> Hello, he said, louder. <coughs> what are you doing? chirped Birdie, flying down. <coughs> I'm talking to this tree, Bump told her. <coughs> Don't be silly, trees can't talk, twittered Birdie. <coughs> that one over there can, and it wasn't very polite, <coughs> said Bump. Come and see. <coughs> Hello, I've come to talk to you again, said Bump. Ooh, said the tree. Me, Bump, he sighed. Twit, shrieked the tree, making Bump run away. <coughs> now do you believe me, he said to Birdie. <coughs> Only Birdie was giggling so much she couldn't reply. <coughs> I can't see what's funny, said Bump crossly. <coughs> it isn't the tree speaking, it's old Uncle Hugh, <coughs> chirped Birdie. With this, she flew up to a branch just above Bump's head. Good morning, Uncle Hugh, Bertie whistled. This is my friend Bump. <coughs> Uncle Hugh opened one big round eye to glare down at Bump. Who? he asked. <coughs> Bump, he's an elephant, repeated Bertie. Uncle Hugh opened the other eye, which made Bump giggle. <coughs> Uncle Hugh seems to have gone back to sleep, said Bump. <coughs> yes, he must be tired, chirped Bertie. You see, Uncle Hugh goes out at night and sleeps in the daytime. <coughs> Is that why he gets so cross when people wake him up? asked Bump. <coughs> That's right, chirped Birdie. But what was Bump up to now? His eyes were closed and he didn't seem to know where he was going. <coughs> but how does Uncle Hugh see where he's going in the dark? asked Bump. And before Birdie could warn him, Bump had walked straight into Uncle Hugh's tree again. <coughs> Twit! shrieked Uncle Hugh. <laughs> Sorry, mumbled Bump. I think we'd better go and play somewhere else, chirped Birdie.